Hi you guys, this is a video on Hellraiser's Enclosure. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it entirely. I would like to state that this is not a care video. This is just an example and showing how I've done this particular enclosure. If you are looking to get a Brazilian rainbow boa, I highly suggest doing some research on them. And by research, I do not mean using YouTube as your main source. There are plenty of care sheets that breeders have um, provided. As well, there are breeders you should ask. Um, a couple breeders that come to mind is Dave Culling at Rainbows Are Us and Cliff Earl at Living Gym Reptiles. Um, I will, in the description, provide to put links to some care sheets. Also on Facebook, there is a Brazilian Rainbow Boa group with many more breeders and slash owners that have kept, so you can also ask there. I will also provide a link in the description box. To get started, I'm going to start with a substrate. Unlike Anoxana Moon, um, I switched up her substrate a little bit. Uh, her substrate is actually a mixture of eco-earth and moss. And if you do not watch my videos, um, Anoxana Moon is two years old, and older Brazilian rainbow boas are tolerant of less humidity, so Anoxana Moon's enclosure only has eco-earth. And that really is the big main difference between Hellraiser's enclosure here and Anoxana Moon's enclosure. The second thing I have is a humidity box right there, which has spandulum moss in it. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. But um, the actual little box it's in is actually made for cake, a piece of cake. If you go to Target and you see the um, these things, these things, they put cake in it. There you go, they put cake in that. And I was kind of in a loop for humid hide to put this size of a snake in. Um, last time Dave Colling weighed her, she's about, I think, 106 grams, which is about mm, 20 or so grams more than, um, than Rose Red, than Rose Red, who is my corn snake. So this should suffice. Next, I have a hide on the hot end, a hide on the, on the cool end. Usually I like putting my hot end and cool end, like, like hot in there, cool in there. But because of the actual place I'm put her, putting her in, um, it worked out to be like this. So, and as well, right there, if you haven't noticed, taking up about a quarter of the whole viv is her water bowl for her to soak in and she can easily get out of. And, of course, I have two plants for decoration, although they are very tightly fitting. And on the sides of them, um, on the sides of the viv are very small holes for low ventilation. That keeps the humidity trapped in. This enclosure, like an ox and a moon, is controlled by a VE100 thermostat, although, like an ox and a moon, eventually be upgraded to a VE200. But the VE100, as far as Nox the Moon is concerned, has been keeping the temps in a very good range, so an on off system is not that bad for right now. And that is basically all I have to share about this particular Viv. It does come with a lid, by the way, if you're wondering. There is a lid to this system, but um, I just decided not to show it because it's out of my reach at the moment. So. That is that. Um, Hellraiser has not arrived. This is actually the night before. I had to wait a few months for weather to cooperate to ship her. So, you know, I wasn't going to have the enclosure set up for two or three months just waiting. So I just had all the stuff ready and I put it together tonight. So that is that. I would like to add, because that reminded me that when you do it, you know, order a snake, please have their viv ready before they get there. It can take you know, several hours or maybe 15 or 20 minutes if you're really good at it, depending on how elaborate your um, enclosure is. This between, this took about two hours to make, mostly because I get my eco-earth in brick form. And to make sure I don't have springtails, I am cooking it for a couple hours. So I cook it and then I have to let it dry and cool down. And then I have to re-moisten it. So that takes a while and I had to do quite a bit of various cleaning and figuring things out. So, plan ahead when getting a snake is the moral of that story. 
So until later, I will bid you adieu. This video will probably be uploaded after Hellraiser comes. I am not going to give away her name before she gets here. That That's unlike me, so... Uh, yeah, I will bid you adieu and see you guys later.